right, so this is one of my photographs. And this was a print that I made when I first, even before I first started working for Cornell. It's uh, of the uh, scallops. And it was shot on a view cam, my 4x5 view camera. Look at the detail on that. So this is gonna be probably, it's gonna be a poster eventually. Um, I haven't really done anything with it in 21 years. Um, I'll show you the process. I picked a kind of a sandy mat. I think I was going with the lighter one, but I think I'm gonna go with the uh, more beige one because I think it pops the, uh, and this will be a second mat. This is the frame, dark oak. I think that'll pop it. Okay, I need to find out the outside dimensions of the mat board. I'm gonna go with two and a half inches. So we have 21. Actually, I'm gonna make that 22, make the bottom a little heavier. 25 by 22. All right, let's get this out of the way. So we're gonna go 22. I don't like using a pen. That's all I could find right now. I tell you, when you're working in the shop, you can't have enough pens, pencils, everything. This is nice working in my shop. I haven't done this in a while. It feels good because you know what? It's opened up, there's not a lot of clutter. I feel good about it. Very nice. All right, so we got our 25. And when I, you know what, when I get it to the point where it's completely done, it'll be very nice because I'm gonna have things organized, out of the way, ready to get to, mats available, glass available, everything available. Plus, it's, this um, space is gonna be available for myself to do other things in, like my studio. It's gonna be uh, designed so that when I do this type of stuff, I'll have better placement of cameras over my shoulder. I'll be able to clip things, you know, and lights and ugh. So this light is coming straight down, I don't want that. Actually, we're gonna make this one a little bit less, an inch less, because this is gonna be the second mat. This is gonna have like the white space below it. So it'll be 24. It'll be 21, 24. So I'm cutting the long side, which is 24. The reason that you do it shorter is because you use the first mat as a guideline to your second mat. And so all of your outside edges will be on your the first mat cut, which is the first opening, which is wider. The second cut is gonna be a quarter of an inch in, making it the second visible mat that you see as a double mat. So if you use the outside edge, that is your that is your edge that everything is based off of. So when the second one goes in, as you'll see, it will be um, taped in the right position. So I'm gonna move over to the mat cutter and I'm gonna start cutting. Now, we'll open that up. Now I need to have a under mat so that when you make your cut um, you don't burl the uh, break the bottom edge but break the, um, the cut on the face of the mat so my first one's going to be two two and three quarters And I'll be able to have, I'm gonna try to set this mat cutter up in a more efficient way. So now the tops and the sides will be set at two and a half. Two and a half. And then the, the size of the second mat will be two and a three quarters. And this will be three and a half. Thank you. 
And there you go. So I put that down, upside down. Grab a double-sided ATG gun, which is an automatic tape gun. And what we'll do is now we have to tape uh, this one, which is gonna be the reveal. And we're gonna tape it together, put some double-sided tape there. So now we're going to put this on there. Okay. And there is your base for the second mat. And now we have to tape this on because this is going to act as your, um, your layer so that that bottom mat won't um, burl, you know. And I put like a little X in it, okay? And then it fits right back in, nice and tight. And we're gonna start with the bigger bottom, okay? This is your bottom, and that's where I'm gonna stop. Actually, let me change my bottom setting. Now, all of these sizes have to be a quarter of an inch bigger. So my original cut was three and a three and a quarter. Now it's going to be three and a half. All my other cuts are going to be two and three quarters. So this will increase a quarter of an inch to two and three quarters, right? And this will be two and three quarters. The first one is at three and a quarter. The second mat is at three and a half, so it'll reveal that quarter inch again. Okay, and there it does. It falls right off, and there you have it. All right. There it is. Okay, now I have to get some foam core. All right, now I put it underneath there. And there you have it. Okay, that's ready to be put in a frame. And the uh, Everything will hold it in. The glass will hold it down. Everything should be remain flat. Let's go cut the frame. Okay, so we're gonna go 22-25. So our first cut's gonna be 25, because if you cut it wrong, then you can use the second, you can cut it this for the shorter one. But I over, I put, um, it's actually 25 and an eighth because you want, um, you want the material to, to float inside the frame. So, I usually do this on the table, but I wanna show you. I set this at one, right? So it's gonna read at 26 on the other end, right? Ah, I, I nailed it. It's 26 and 1 8. So that's perfect. Now I gotta cut my 22. That's going to the rabbit. Right, I give it a little extra, and I use this as a stop. Again, there's some uh, homemadeness to it, but it's worked for 34 years. That's how long I've been uh, framing for. I like the uh, knots and stuff. It gives the, the frame a character. 
I'm a little tight, but that's okay. It, it'll float in there. Um, that's probably a little bit, it's a little better than a sixteenth. It's almost an, an eighth, but I'll take that. There it is. I am going to, uh, I'm going to put this together kind of to see. It's like the voila moment. Nice, nice, I'm very happy with that. All right, now I gotta put the frame together. This is the V-nailer, but I got a lot of stuff in the way, so give me a few seconds. All right, at this point, I'm ready to um, do a little filling. Um, what happens is uh, you want to fill these edges because if anything lighter shows through the, the uh, edge, um, it doesn't look good. So it doesn't have to be a thick line, but I'm actually using a Sharpie because I have the right tools are packed away and it's a dig to go and find the right tools right now. So I'm just using this brown uh, Sharpie and uh, it seems to be working good. Okay, so now we glue and we underpin with this V-nailer, okay? And so we put our frame here and this is where we join, okay? And it's designed to do exactly that. So again, you want kind of this to be on the money and looking really good. So we glue it up and make sure that you spread your glue around so it's got a nice flat. And I don't mind squeezing the glue out. Okay, and this is where you do your fine tuning. Now I've got these, um, these V-nails you can see them they are the what you underpin and you don't want them too long or else they'll go through they have a sharp edge and a flat edge and you want to make sure that you're putting the sharp edge in this comes down and you drive up the v-nail into the bottom of the frame there you have it one. So that feels good. Same kind of thing. And I like to put like about three of them in there. Okay. All right. Last one. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. There we go. All right, so we'll flip it over. And we'll take a look see at it. Oh, nice. Nice. Kind of the same as before, but it's actually together. Here is the glass, 24 by 36, okay? Uh, 24, 36. So we know that we this is 24, right? So we can't get 25 out of this end. So I'm gonna start with my 25 and make my measurement here. My glass cutter fits on that wall right there and I'm going when I'm done with the shop, I'm gonna remount it there. But this is how we used to do it, actually. So I've gotta make sure I give that a little bit, which I do. So this is where I'm gonna tape it. I just, it started to move a little bit. Five hands on this. Okay, so there's that. And I can tape it and hold it at the same time and cut it. All right, and then I'm gonna make my break. 
on this edge. Broke straight. That's good, good sign. So my 22 is a little short. Yeah, this is not, not the norm. You just gotta get that score right. Okay. Throw it away. Let's see if it fits. All right, I'm doing this on camera. Let's see. Ha <laughs> ha! It all looks good. the window straight up and down like this because anything any small pieces of whatever could be cut wood cut offs it could be dust um, it's all gonna fall to the bottom and then I just do a scoop down on the bottom okay and uh, let's go get the piece and you have it I'm gonna put it in and take a look at it look for those specks that will always get in there. There's one. All right, get my point driver, put that in there. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm gonna move back, really it's my assembly table, I'm gonna put the dust backer on there and I'll bring you over. All right, we're gonna put this on the, on the uh, molding and that's gonna hold the dust backer on. Put it all the way around. It's gonna keep any, any dust over the years out from the inside of the glass. We're gonna pull some of the paper out. Lays on top. It's my edge cutter. All right. So I'm not completely done yet. What do I got to do? You got to hang it somehow. So I got to put the wire wire hangers up. thing. Let's get her clean.